following is a special presentation of WEDU Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota. This program is made possible by Florida A&M University, supporting education and the enhancement of mankind through inspirational teaching, relevant research, and meaningful service. Florida A&M University, excellence with caring. Come gather round, people, wherever you roam. Tampa was typically, I would say, of any American southern city where you'd be out on the, the trolley here or the bus here, you had to sit in the back. If you sat in the front, you were told to move to the back, you were called boy. And admit that the waters around you have grown. The Reverend Dr. A. Leon Lowry leaves an indelible mark on Tampa and the world. This NAACP leader leads civil rights protests in places African Americans were not wanted. They threw eggs on us, they threw fruit at us, they called us the dirtiest names in the world, and we were taught to continue to pick it. And accept it that soon you'll be dredged to the bone if your time to you is worth saving. Reverend Lowry champions education and teaches ordinary students and kings. That's amazing to me too that he was one of the instructors for Dr. King, you think about that, and it's our neighbor right around there. So right there in itself is like, you know, he's, <laughs> he's the man. Then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. And a dignified, determined minister leaves a legacy of caring that touches thousands of lives. It was a time when men of talent rose to extraordinary talents and brought those talents forward. Reverend Lowry was one of those persons. For the times they are a change. Young Leon Lowry, born to cry. No answer as to how or why or where or when his time would come. God gave him life and bid him run. He knew all about the coming Messiah and perhaps his mother. In the late 1950s, a young black Tampa pastor was working with a quiet determination. Blacks were second-class citizens in Tampa, banned from movie houses, libraries, and lunch counters. Many of the Jim Crow laws were still in effect, keeping the black populace in a place of subservience with little power to change things. State NAACP leader and pastor A. Leon Lowry refused to accept the social norms of the southern town and organized students to go on sit-ins at establishments that would take their money but would not invite them to stay for dinner. A group of students participated in the civil rights demonstration at the local Woolworths and I just happened to have been fortunate enough to be one of those students and Reverend Lowry was the major person who organized the students and took us down to participate. We marched out of St. Paul down on Harrison, downtown. We marched from that church down to some of the local stores that we had been shopping at all of our lives. That was J.J. Newberry's and Woolworth and Crest, and all of them had lunch counters or eateries, and we couldn't go in, the, we couldn't sit down and, and have a meal there. Well, it was frightening because we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know how we, we would be beaten or, or, or shot or we didn't know what was going to happen. If you can imagine, uh, tons of black students walking downtown and heading into a counter and sitting at seats that they, they wouldn't have dared even a year or so prior to that. What immediately happened, it, it like halted the business. You know, if there were white people on counters uh, in booths, they would leave. The waitresses wouldn't wait on us. They gave us some real evil looks. They looked at us with disdain, you know, like, why are you here? They would be taken down and seated at the lunch counters. Every time somebody got up, we seated, they would say, seated a child. And they sat there and waited for the order, which nobody ever asked them. But they sat and they sat through the abuse and the spitting at and all of that. They sat through it, but they were very, very, very well trained and they did it well. It was peaceful and we stayed there for several hours. And subsequent to that, uh, Woolworths opened up. So Tampa integrated its lunch counters without any real difficulty. 